With kids who have memory issues, we want to be teaching them to put things in their own words and to create mental imagery when, when they're listening to be able to create a little mental movie or an image of what, what, what they're listening to. And we want to practice it with them. We want to practice it so much that it becomes automatic. I, I saw this girl a couple years ago who I, I initially evaluated when she was six, who uh, was 18 a couple years ago. And I, I also saw her when she was 13. And when she was 13, her scores on, on tests of sentence memory and story memory were at the fifth percentile. When I tested her at 18, they were at the 50th percentile. Now, if you're a speech pathologist, you know, it's hard to improve uh, the, the, the basic sentence memory and story memory. And I, I said, what do you think accounts for this? And, and, and certainly part of it was the fact that when she was 13, she couldn't tolerate stimulant medication. It, it made her too anxious. By the time she was 18, she could tolerate a stimulant. It actually was helping her quite a bit. So that, that might have been part of it. But when I asked her, I said, what, what, what do you think accounts for the fact that you used to be below average at the stuff, and now you're entirely age appropriate? She says, well, at my school, they, they made us paraphrase everything <laughs> with some kind of reason. It turned out that, that she went to the Putney School uh, in, in Vermont, which is in the same town as Landmark College. And Landmark College is all over this paraphrasing idea. Um, 